The New York City subway is one of the oldest and largest rapid transit systems in the world. Owing to its large size, the subway has lots of models of train or rolling stock currently in operation. In this video, we'll take a look at all of them, as well as the rolling stock used on New York's other rail transit systems. This video will take a look at current and future rolling stock only. Forthcoming videos will take a look at work equipment and past rolling stock. Before we begin, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also consider checking out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. We also need to go over some nomenclature. The subway distinguishes between lines, the physical infrastructure, and services or trains, the paths taken by trains and service. Additionally, when I say cars are assigned to a certain yard, that means the yard in question is where the cars are maintained. They may be stored at other yards, however. Our exploration of the subway's rolling stock will go in contract number order, so we'll start with the R46. These cars were built by Pullman Standard in Chicago from 1975 to 1978 and entered service on July 14, 1975. 754 cars were built and the number in service is slowly dwindling as more R211s enter service to replace them. They replaced the R9s, R10s, and R16s. These cars were the second of four orders to deviate from the Standard B Division lettered services car length of 60 feet and were instead built to a length of 75 feet, making them too long to run in the BMT Eastern Division, J, L, M, and Z trains, due to that division's sharp curves. Most of the cars are arranged in four car sets in an A, B, B, A arrangement, with A cars having cabs and B cars lacking cabs. The other cars are built as A, A pairs. As of May 2025, the cars are assigned to Coney Island Yard and Pitkin Yard and are in service on the A, N, Q, W, and Rockaway Park Shuttle. When the cars first entered service, they sported a blue stripe, but that has since been removed to replace them in line with other B-Division cars. The cars have warm interior lighting and LCD destination displays. Unlike most currently in-service trains, these cars have transverse seating, or seating that faces forward and backwards rather than side to side, and the seats are colored orange. The cars are numbered 5482 to 6207 for the four car sets, and 6208 to 6258 evens only for the married pairs. The R62s were built by Kawasaki Heavy Industries in Kobe, Japan from 1983 to 1985 and entered service on May 7, 1984. They were refurbished from 1991 to 1992. Of the 325 cars built, 315 remain in service. Of the ones retired, two are used for fire training and eight have been scrapped. The cars will have similar interiors to the R46, but with roll signs instead of LCD displays and no transverse seating. The cars are arranged in five car A, B, 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 A sets, with all but 10 of them being assigned to the Vonia Yard and used on the three, and the remaining 10 being assigned to 240th Street Yard and used on the one. The 51 foot long cars are expected to be replaced by the R362s in the late 2020s, and they themselves replaced the R12s, R14s, and R15s. They are numbered 1301 to 1625. The R62As are very similar to the R62s, but were built by Bombardier in La Pacatière, Quebec, Auburn, New York, and Bar, Vermont from 1984 to 1987, and entered service on May 29, 1985. The interiors are identical to the R62s, and they are also of the same 51-foot length. Most of the cars are arranged as five-car A, B, 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 A sets, while the cars used on the 42nd Street Shuttle are arranged in six-car A, B, 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 A sets. They were refurbished from 1996 to 1999, and the 42nd Street Shuttle cars were refurbished again from 2017 to 2020. 825 cars were built, and of those, all but two are still in service. The cars used on the 6 have LED lights in both the circle and diamond pattern to help passengers easily tell whether the train is running local or express. 365 cars assigned to 240th Street Yards are used on the 1, 435 cars assigned to Pelham Yard are used on the 6, and 24 cars assigned to Livonia Yard are used on the 42nd Street Shuttle. These cars were also due to be replaced by the R262 and themselves replaced the R17s, R21s, and R22s. The five car sets are numbered 1651 to 1900 and 1961 to 2475, while the single cars and six car sets are numbered 1901 to 1960. Moving back to the B division, we come to the R68s. These cars were built by Westinghouse Amrail, otherwise known as Franco Rail, between 1986 and 1988 in Crepin, France, and entered service on June 20th, 1986. This is the third of the four 75-foot car orders. They have similar interiors to the R46, but have brighter lights. Most cars are equipped with roll signs, while the cars used on the Franklin Avenue shuttle have fixed signs. All cars except the ones used on the Franklin Avenue shuttle are arranged in four-car A, B, B, A sets, with the Franklin Avenue cars being single cars. All 425 cars remain in service. 
284 cars are assigned to Concourse Yard and are used on the D. 132 cars are assigned to Coney Island Yard and are used on the B, N, Q, and W. And 9 cars are assigned to Coney Island Yard and are used on the Franklin Avenue Shuttle. Some cars are due to be replaced with R211s, while the remaining cars will be replaced by the R368s. These cars replace the R10s, R16s, R27s, and R30s. The four car sets are number 2500 to 2915, and the single cars are number 2916 to 2924. The R68As were built by Kawasaki Heavy Industries in Kobe, Japan, between 1988 and 1989 and entered service on May 18, 1988. They are very similar to the R68s and are the last of the four orders of 75-foot cars. Like the R46s and R68s, they are arranged in four-car ABBA sets. All 200 cars remain in service and are assigned to Coney Island Yard for use on the B, N, Q, and W. Some will be replaced by the R211s, and the remaining cars will be replaced by R268s. They are numbered 5001 to 5200. The R142s are the first production cars in the new technology train series and are built to the standard A division length of 51 feet. They were built by Bombardier in La Placretia, Quebec, Bar, Vermont, and Plattsburgh, New York between 1999 and 2003 and entered service on October 20, 2000. The trains have the now familiar blue longitudinal seating with bright white lights. The cars have LCD destination screens and strip maps with lights to show next stations. These cars are also the first to have automated announcements. The A cars have red and black fronts with silver sides and a red stripe. This is most likely an homage to the previous Redbird cards, which these cars replaced. All but five of the 1,030 cars built are in service today. East 180th Street Yard and 239th Street Yard each have 410 cars assigned to them for use on the 2 and 5, and Jerome Yard has 205 cars assigned to it for use on the 4. They carry the numbers 1101 to 1250 and 6301 to 7180. The R142As are very similar to the R142s, with the biggest visual difference being the offset doors. Instead of doors on either side of the car being directly across from one another, they are slightly offset from side to side. The cars were built by Kawasaki from 1999 and 2002, with the supplemental order, known as the R142S, being built between 2004 and 2005. The cars entered service on November 2, 2000. They were built in Kobe, Japan, Lincoln, Nebraska, and Yonkers, New York. 500 were built and 220 remain in service, with the other 380 being converted to R188s. The cars are arranged in five-car A, B, 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 A sets and are all assigned to Jerome Yard for use on the floor. Cars 7211 to 7590 are rebuilt, while cars 7591 to 7810 remain as built. The R143s are the first mass-produced NTTs for the B Division and return to the standard B Division car length of 60 feet. They were also built by Kawasaki in the same places as the R142As between 2001 and 2003 and entered service on February 12, 2002. The cars feature the same strip maps as the R142s, but with LED destination displays. They are the first cars on the subway to be equipped for communications-based train control, or CBTC, which allows the trains to drive themselves. All subsequent train orders are also equipped with CBTC. The cars are arranged in four-car ABBA sets, and 212 were built, with all remaining in service. They are assigned to East New York Yard for use on the L, and occasionally the J and Z. These cars were numbered 8101 to 8312. The R-160As were built by Alstom in Lapa, Sao Paulo, Brazil, in Hornell, New York, and the R-160Bs were built by Kawasaki in Kobe, Japan, Lincoln, Nebraska, and Yonkers, New York, both between 2005 and 2010. The R-160As entered service on October 17, 2006, and the R-160Bs entered service on August 17, 2006. The R-160As are further split up into two subclasses. The R-160A1 consists of four car sets in an ABBA configuration. There are 372 R160A1s, which are all assigned to East New York Yard for use on the J, L, M, and C. The R160A2s consist of five car sets in an A, B, 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 A configuration, and 630 were built, for a total of 1,002 R160As. They are all assigned to Jamaica Yard for use on the E, F, G, and R trains. The R160Bs are also split up into two subclasses, this time based on propulsion system. There are 400 R160B1s and 260 R160B2s for a total of 660 R160Bs and 1,662 R160s total. The cars have the same LED destination displays as previous NTT trains, but have a new internal passenger information system known as FIND, flexible information and notice display. This consists of an LCD screen displaying route information and a panel of LED displays showing upcoming stations and transfers at those stations. The cars were refurbished starting in 2017 and were given updated lights, yellow stanchions, and passenger flow door floor markings. 
Additionally, 25 car sets and two four car sets had their end seats removed to provide more standing capacity. These cars are identifiable by a different livery and artwork inside the cars. The paper advertisements used on the cars were recently replaced with LCD screens, which can also provide additional passenger information. The cars replaced the R32s, R38s, R40s, R42s, and R44s. The R160A1s are numbered 8313 to 8652 and 9943 to 9974. The R160A2s are numbered 8653 to 8712 and 9233 to 9802. The R160B1s are numbered 8713 to 8842, 9102 to 9232, and 9803 to 9942, and the R160B2s are numbered 8843 to 9102. The R179s were built by Bombardier in La Pacotilla, Quebec, and Flatsburg, New York, between 2016 and 2019. They are divided into five car sets, which entered service on February 10, 2019, and four car sets, which entered service on November 19, 2017. Due to major issues with the fleet, the cars were pulled from service twice, once on January 8, 2020 to January 24, 2020, and again from June 3, 2020 to September 23, 2020. This meant that the cars the R179s were meant to replace wound up temporarily replacing them. There are 188 cars arranged into four car sets, and 130 cars arranged into five car sets, for a total of 318 cars. 96 cars, four car sets, are assigned to East New York Yard for service on the J&Z, 92 cars, 4 car sets, are assigned a 207th Street Yard for service on the C, and all 130 cars arranged into 5 car sets are assigned to Pitkin Yard for service on the A and Rockaway Park Shuttle. From a passenger's perspective, the cars are almost identical to the R160s. These cars replace the R32s and R42s. The 4 car sets are numbered 3050 to 3237, and the 5 car sets are numbered 3010 to 3049 and 3238 to 3327. The R188s were built by Kawasaki in Kobe, Japan and Yonkers, New York between 2010 and 2016 and entered service on December 15, 2013. There are 506 total cars, with 126 of them being newly built cars and 380 being converted from R142As. The cars are arranged into 5 car ABBBA and 6 car ACBBBA sets to allow for 11 car trains to be run. The cars have the same LCD destination displays as the R142s and R143s, and likewise have the same strip maps and dot lights as those cars. Similar to other MTT cars, some cars in the fleet have had their paper advertisements replaced with digital screens. All cars are assigned a Corona Yard for use on the 7. The cars converted from R142As are numbered 7211 to 7590, the new C cars are numbered 7899 to 7936, and the new sets are numbered 7811 to 7898. The R211s are the newest model of car operating on the subway. The order is split up into three subclasses. The R211A is the main part of the order, being ordered for use on the subway. The R211Ts are also being built for the subway, but have open gangways, allowing passengers to walk between the cars within the set. There are, these are the first cars on the subway to have this feature, although it is pretty standard globally these days. Last are the R211Ss, which are built for the Staten Island Railway. Construction on the cars started in 2020 and is ongoing as of May 2025. They are being built by Kawasaki at Kobe, Japan, Yonkers, New York, and Lincoln, Nebraska. Once all cars are completed, there will be 1,345 R211As, 75 R211Ss, and 100 R211Ts for a total of 1,610 cars. The cars have many new features compared to existing cars. On the outside, the cars sport a livery similar to the one used on the modified R160s and the Long Island Railroad's M9s. The front destination display has been changed to a large screen showing the service and a smaller screen showing the destination located where the service indicator is located on older cars. The side destination displays are now full color displays. This brings the destination displays in these cars in line with the roll signs in use on older car models like the R68s. The cars feature wider doors to allow for faster passenger flow and increase accessibility. Around the doors are lights to indicate whether the door is open, closed, or closing. The fine system has been revamped into one large screen. Screens located over the doors provide information about where exits and transfers are located and information about bus transfers that the automated announcements don't cover. As of May 2025, all R211As are assigned to Pitkin Yard for service on the A and C, 10 R211Ts are also assigned to Pitkin Yard for service on the C, and 10 R211Ts are assigned to Coney Island Yard for service on the G. The 75 R211Ss are assigned to the SIR's only yard, Clifton Yard. On the SIR, the cars will replace the R44s, and on the subway, the cars will replace the R46s and some R68s and R68As. 
The R211As are numbered 3400 to 4039 and 4060 to 4499, with some cars numbers TBA. The R211Ts are numbered 4040 to 4059, also with some numbers TBA. And the R211Ss are numbered 100 to 174. The first of the future rolling stock models is the R262, intended to replace the R62s and R62As. No contract has been awarded for these cars yet, but the MTA intends to purchase up to 1,140 cars, mostly in 5-car sets with a few 6-car sets for the 42nd Street Shuttle. The cars will have the same features as the R211s, including the potential for having open gangways. Next is the R68, of which we know even fewer about. All we know is that they will replace the remaining R68s and R68As. The older model of car currently being used on the Staten Island Railway and being phased out as we speak are the R44s. 52 cars are built for the SIR by the St. Louis Car Company in St. Louis, Missouri between 1971 and 1973, where they are also known as the ME2, MU2, or MUE2. They entered service on February 28, 1973, and are the first of the four orders of 75-foot cars. The cars have similar interiors to the R46s and R68s, albeit with blue seats like on the NTTs. They were refurbished between 2007 and 2010 and are arranged as single cars. The fleet replaced the ME1 cars previously in use on the line and are maintained at Clifton Yard. Heavy maintenance is done at Coney Island Yard, which requires the cars to be trucked over. They are numbered 388 to 435 and 436 to 466 evens only. The Port Authority Trans Hudson, or PATH, is a subway system running under the Hudson River linking Manhattan with the Hudson Waterfront and Newark. The system exclusively uses the PA5, built by Kawasaki from 2008 to 2011 and 2022 to 2023. There are 422 cars which are based on the subway's R142A and as such have the offset doors of those cars. The first batch of PA5s were refurbished between 2018 and 2024. The interiors of the cars are similar once again to the R142As. These cars replace the PA4s. A cars, cars with cabs, are numbered 5600 to 5829 and C cars, cars without cabs, are numbered 5100 to 5219 and 5300 to 5371. Newark Light Rail and Hudson Bergen Light Rail are two light rail systems operated by New Jersey Transit and Newark and the Hudson Waterfront, respectively. Both systems use the same model of rolling stock, light rail vehicles manufactured by Kinky Shario. They come in three and five segment variants and are mostly low floor. On the Newark Light Rail, the LRVs replace older PCC streetcars, while on the HBLR, the cars were the first model to operate on the system. The Air Train JFK uses a fleet of 39 off-the-shelf Inovia Metro ART 200s from Mavardier. These cars have similar dimensions to B-Division New York City subway cars, but have fewer, wider doors. The interiors are designed for maximum standing room to allow as many people and their luggage to fit in the train as possible. Air Train JFK's little sibling, Air Train Newark, is a monorail line using 18 Von Royal Mark III train sets, each six cars long. AirTrain Newark is due to be replaced by 2030, and the new system will use train sets manufactured by Doppelmayr. With that, we've gone through all the types of trains used on the New York's rail transit systems. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more content like this, and consider liking the video and joining us on Patreon. A link for that is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.